So recently I started experimenting quite a lot in the kitchen. If you know me, I've never been the greatest cook, but with lockdown happening and a lot of my family working from home, each of us are taking a lot of time to try and make meals for one another throughout the week. And of course that means I've had to contribute as well. And so being a vegetarian and a vegan, I've had to, well my mom prepares a lot of our meals together, but I've had to find ways in order to make things veganized or vegetarian or as plant-based as I can. I love the vegan chicken from Woolworths and so I tend to make quite a lot of different styles of food with it, whether that is some curries or sometimes it is with ramen noodles and my most recent experiment with it was trying to make Asian fried chicken rice but obviously a veganized style or as plant-based as I can be. I think I only used one non-vegan ingredient and that was ghee just because we didn't have any vegan oil or vegan butter left at home and I shared it on my Instagram story and everyone really loved it. I had about 10 or 15 people messaging me or DMing me to please share the recipe especially because a lot of the people that I follow are trying to become vegan or just enjoy vegetarian dishes since I am an Indian. I also have a lot of Hindu family and friends that also fast quite a lot throughout the week. So a lot of them asked me to please share the recipe. And so today I am going to treat you and let you know how to make probably my 15 minute veganized chicken fried rice. So let's get on with that. So to start off you need whatever vegetables you have. I just had spring onions, carrots and celery and you also need vegan chicken. I like the Woolworths brand just because it's packed with tons of proteins which are very important in any vegetarian meal. And then also some rice. I just used two cups of low GI basmati rice. And then whatever spices and condiments that you have should work. But I just used whatever ground spices I had. I also then had both black and white sesame seeds, the juice of a whole lemon, five cloves of garlic, half an onion, Worcester sauce and Nando's Peri Peri sauce, as well as the fresh Thai sauce from Woolworths. Here's just an overview of the ingredients once again in case you missed anything. I started off by adding two teaspoons of clarified butter, otherwise known as ghee. You could always just use vegan butter or vegan margarine or whatever you have to make it completely vegan. And then I just throwed in the chopped onions and let that saute and caramelize a bit. I then added in whatever garlic I had, which I just finely chopped on the side, as well as the garam masala, jeera, roasted dhania, masala and roasted chili flakes as well. And then I just kind of made sure that everything got quite brown together before I added in whatever else was going to be the actual part of the dish. I then ended up just chopping up my carrots. It doesn't have to be finely chopped at all, but you'd like them to be quite nice bite-sized pieces so that they all cook quite evenly. I then just added that in to the pan after everything had combined with the spices and I let that kind of just roast and I like my vegetables to be a little bit al dente if that's the right word and then I obviously just seasoned with pepper and salt just to taste and I forgot to mention previously I put about half a teaspoon of the previous spices that I mentioned before. I then added in all of the rice and let that roast a bit and then mix everything together and I added in the juice of the whole lemon quite evenly. I added in Worcester sauce. You can see here I'm not a big measurement person so you can just eyeball it as well and I just added in the Nando's Peri Peri sauce as well. I used two packets of the fresh Thai sauce. I don't think I mentioned that earlier. And that's just because I was making this for a family of four. Obviously, if you're not making it for a family of four, just decrease the amounts that you're adding into your meal. So instead of using half a teaspoon, you'll use a quarter teaspoon. And then you want to make sure that you stir for a very long time, just so that all of the rice gets coated evenly in the sauce because you want everything to have a beautiful flavor you don't want some parts to taste bland i then let that stay on like a very low heat while i fried the vegan chicken i just put spray and cook 
a little bit of oil whatever oil you have will work it's just to basically fry off the chicken quite nice and crispy i then put a little bit of water just to get whatever flavors are at the bottom to rise to the top of the rice or that's what my mom at least says and i then just added salt and pepper to the chicken or the vegan chicken rather and then i put everything into a bowl and i garnished with a little bit of spring onions and the sesame seeds that I showed you before. And I was really happy with how it turned out. My whole family enjoyed it, even the meat eaters. So that is the recipe. As you guys can see, it's very easy to do. You do not have to be a maestro in the kitchen or whatever. You can just literally come home if you have pre-cooked rice and a few vegetables in the fridge you literally have to just throw it together maybe stop at Woolworths just to get the vegan sauce or whatever you want to get if you don't want to have any rice or anything in that take out the rice from the recipe and add the chicken straight in or the vegan chicken straight in and you can have it with your salads you can have it inside your sandwiches if you like break it up and it's just a really easy, wholesome meal that's very high in protein as well. And you guys should know by now, being a vegetarian or a vegan, sometimes it is hard to get your protein sources from something other than supplements. So this is a great alternative if you really feel like you're needing an extra boost. So I hope that you guys will definitely try out this recipe and let me know of anything that you added in or you took out or how you kind of made the recipe your own. And if you do make it and you have Instagram, don't forget to tag me in your story. The handle of my Instagram will be here. And I hope to share more recipes with you guys if you enjoyed this video. And leave down a comment about what other meal you'd like for me to veganize or make plant-based next. I hope that you guys have a wonderful week filled with lots of love, happiness, light, positivity, and good vegan eating. Have a great, safe week ahead. Love you guys. Bye.